Hello everybody, welcome back to Travis Strikes Again. So, in our last episode, we fought Smoking King. We did a couple races. Now we're going to get the fifth death ball in our fifth game. Let's see how this, see how this turns out. Modern observation. Trailer. Gene, Conway's calling. Ignore that dickhead. <laughs> Hello? Like, now? I guess, yeah. They're going? Yeah. And I gave up on the digest. We're doing this old school. DOS V A V D style. A D V style. How cool is that? Just keep it simple. I hate coming with. Fat boy burger. Thanks for coming all the way here. This is the East Coast, right? We're pretty damn far from Texas. You'll be getting... <laughs> you'll be getting the check. Eat whatever you like. Gene, you want something? I hate this guy, so I'll be outside. Bring me a cherry shake. I totally can't trust this guy. Cats never lie, you know? <laughs> I have a garlic fat boy burger. Fries and a peach... peach rind shake? Peach rind? How refined. I'll go get it. What's your name, buddy? Who the hell are you? Nobody you know. Just a Japanese guy passing by. So, what you want? Hey now, don't get so defensive. How do you know that that man? How do you know that man? You mean Kamui? He's just some dude. A friend? Nope. Okay then, be careful. That man is dangerous. I figured that much. I bet you did. Your bloodlust is pretty hardcore. Like nothing I've ever seen. Yours is pretty obvious too. You're a detective, right? Maybe. In Japan, I would have shot you in the face. I would have killed your ass first. Don't get killed by Kamui. Don't get killed by America. Thanks for the warning. Sorry for the delay. So what did you want to talk about? Well, actually, I wanted to tell you how amazing these burgers are. Sorry? But save that for next time. We've generated too much tax localizing costs and getting it. Localizing costs are getting insane. So I want to keep things simple. Do you feel me? No problem. I'm an ADV man myself. I'll keep it short. Come to Tokyo's old ward. There's a trouble. There's trouble. Got it. I'll go help out. What's the sort of trouble anyway? It's complicated. Is that okay? I'll give you one line. You now lived in old ward. So there's a death ball there? Yes. Thanks. So where are we going? The airport, duh. What about your passport? Do you even have to ask? It's at home. Let's go back home. Did you find it? Shit. Huh? What's wrong? My passport is expired. God, you're such a loser. How long will we have to wait? No idea. It's almost summer vacation, so all the kids are getting their passports. Hey, you're up. I can finally go to Japan. Japanese airline food is delicious. This, that's Japan for you.
Jean, it's Japan. It's Aki Akihabara? Akihabara? Oh, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Travis, let's go to a maid cafe. I want to see some maids. Before maids, I need some figures. Figurines. After that, we'll see some maids. I'm exhausted. I'm sleepy. What? Yawn. Mama. I miss you. Wake up! Travis, wake up! Huh? Where am I? Japan! In a hotel in Akibara. Ah, uh, what a comfy ass hotel. That was the best rim sleep ever. I'm so sleepy. We're not here. We're not here to screw around, Akibar. Remember that. Ah, yeah. Juvenile used to live in Zero Ward. Let's check it out. Okay. This is Zero Ward or Old Ward. It's called 25th Ward Station. What's that mean? Who knows? But this is town reeks of death. Are you Travis? Here for your appointment? I don't have an appointment, but I am Travis. Could you hurry up and get on? I'll take you. Where? To the appointment location. You'll see. Jean, get on. What a cute kitty. Meow, meow. Sorry, I'm not feeling it right now. <laughs> it talks? Just hurry up and go. Okay, fine. What did she say? So you want a catnip or something? Kowloon, no. Urshiwo? Urshi? Urshiwo? Long City. This is where you and I used to live. We were like BFFs. BFFs, huh? Cool. So what kind of person is she? Complicated. Hard to explain. It takes days to explain you. Can I ask you something? Don't bother. The death ball is right. You know about that? Jude's ex-boyfriend has it. She gave it to him when they broke up. Even though they broke up, a woman's heart is a stormy thing. You, you're kind of thick, huh? So who is this guy? This ex-boyfriend. Well, you're supposed to ask all 3,000 residents here for information on the ex-boyfriend, but I'll skip that for her character limit reasons. Thanks. I appreciate the service. I'll take you there now. The kitty can stay here. Okay. I'll take a nap. There it is. This is just the ocean. What's supposed to be here? Do you see the roof? Sticking out over there? The roof of a house? It's underwater. That's where Juvie lived. Let's see. Welcome to my home, Travis. You're my first foreign guest. I'm glad you're here. You're like, on the water? Pay no mind to that. I'm what's called an observer. This is nothing really. You're a creepy ass dude. What are we doing standing here? Talking? Please, this way. Please? Here. It's Japanese tea. Drink it while it's hot and warm. Did you just use magic? What the hell are you? This is where we used to live. Though my time with her was short. It feels like we spent decades together. She's something really special. I felt it the first time we met at the mall. The mall is crowded on Sundays. Among the crowd, she alone was colorless. Colorless and transparent. Like she didn't really exist, yet floated there. She was at the cell area, checking discounts. That domestic vibe and that transparency. I was just enhanced with her, enchanted with her. 
Sorry, but I'm in a hurry. Can you get to the point? Sorry. I was lost in my memories. This is what you're looking for, right? Juvenile gave this to you? She asked me to give it to an American guy named Travis who come looking for it. She kinda she knew my name? She said you'd be famous you'd be a famous assassin. I wish I could have known you earlier. Known me for what? I wanted to start a revolution together. We could have destroyed the justice destroyed justice itself. My justice is my own thing. I don't give a shit about your revolution. Is that so? Well, it's a shame. It ended the way... What's with the past tense? That's what Julie had wanted. Juvenile had wanted. I guess this is why. This ball is entrusted to you. He disappeared. Nope, that's not it. Did someone delete him? Whatever. Got my death ball. Huh? I saw everything. So you're Kamui? Kamui? You mean Kamui Uhara? Your bloodlust is abnormal. You're fucked up. You can't kill me with that gun. I'll take your head right off. Maybe. Kamui! But either way, I'm gonna kill myself. This kid's dangerous. Lights out, punk. Kamui, Kamui, Kamui. That was an awesome move. That was an awesome move. It was a legendary suplex. I meant to throw him gently. He's out cold and his eyes are weird. Hey, bike dear devil, delivery girl. Can you take care of him for me? Sure, but are you going to be okay? I'll swim back. To where? To America. To be continued. Death Ball Choir. A new game is playable on the Death Drive Mark II. Save? Yes. Phew. All right. Oh, let me do that. Let's play our new game. Killer Marathon. It's game time. Oh, okay, no cutscene or nothing? Nice. Where am I? It's under construction. What are you, blind? <laughs> under construction? What the hell does that mean? <laughs> this is what it looks like when a location is being built in Unreal. So it's a work in progress, huh? How much of it's done? I have no idea. Go ask that woman, Dr. Juvenile. She's kind of moody. She had problems with the staff while making Killer Marathon. She started flipping over tables and stuff, made them redo the whole thing. Did somebody piss her off? Every game development team is unique to others. 
I mean, that's probably true for any type of workplace, but none of them are that simple. I thought that making video games was much more fun, a fun job, but it's extremely low key yet delicate work. Like, surprisingly so. I see. Anyway, I don't care if it's a working process or not. I'm passing through. Don't come crying to us if things go badly. We warned you. I'm going on a tour. I'm going on a tour of Dr. Juvenile's mind. Okay. Grandpa's words of wisdom. People who say, I'll follow you forever, usually don't. Not even 10%. What else we got here? Oh, it's a ramen shop. Uh, you shouldn't go any further. Pandora's box is coming back. It's called the Death Drive. How do I get that other one? We are in touch with you. Come in, yes. Tonkatsu show you the Yokohama bad boy enjoy this one two punch of pork and soy sauce. Thanks. But now how do I Oh Oh I received a fax from K. I received another fax. I yes. can't check them until I get back to the trailer. I'm just jumping around, seeing if I can find something. I think this is it. I think that's all that was here. Alright, let's go. Alright. Who we got here? Alright, if you can't take out the mothership, you're screwed. The nucleus is also called the core. Destroy the core. Light it up. Death Drive. Oh, asteroids. I was never good at asteroids. Oh, God. Yeah, I was never good at asteroids. Okay, you shoot automatically. Okay, it's not that you shoot automatically. Oh! Go straight for the nucleus. Oh, cool, I got it. I wonder, the, is there a thing? Is it charge? Or do I have a limited number? Okay. So when I hear that little doo -doo, that's the game telling me my all directional attack is ready. And I missed. Like, is this supposed to be, like, a exit? Okay, it's an exit. I wasn't sure. The last spinning vortex looking hole killed me. Oh no. Oh. 
God dang it. Hey, that's not fair. They get to fly through stuff. Ooh. Go away. Oh, God damn. Gotta be quick with it. Oh, I got another life though. Oh, it's right here. This would be easy. Unless I'm about to be swarmed with uh, missiles or something. Oh, shit. Okay. Gotta be quick. Oh, it's attacking now. Damn it. Now what's gonna happen now? I lost all my lives. The copy of Killer Marathon I got wasn't just some pirate version. It was a death drop port of the legendary arcane game that started it all, created by John Winter himself. Apparently it's not finished. Dr. Juvenile must have created it by analyzing records and memories. I suddenly had flashbacks to when I was a kid happening upon this game. The light emanating from the creepily alluring vector graphics seemed to pull me in like another pulled me into another dimension. I wonder if Juvenile created this Death Drop Mark II specifically to facilitate this very experience. I kind of sympathize with Juvenile. No, that's not just my imagination. Next up is the sixth Death Ball, the final game. What will Dr. Juvenile show me next? Bring on the next game. Okay. That was different. It was strange. <sighs> All right, well, that's the end of this episode. Short and sweet. No problem with that. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you all in the might be the final uh, game.